Today we're going to be reconditioning a 12 by 14 canvas tent. I have a couple of holes I'm going to need to patch in it. So I have some Terra Mender, which is a fabric glue, and I have some extra fabric here. I have some stains I need to remove. We're going to wash it in OxyClean. Should be interesting. And then when we get all done, we'll have to re waterproof it with Canvex. Okay, let's take a look at what we're going to work on today. You can see that this is really sooty, probably from people going in and out, dirt on their hands and from the stove. This looks like tannins or rust. Tannins are kind of what comes out of trees, so if you had trees laying up against it. We'll do a little walk around here. A lot of tannins down at the bottom of it, you can see. And some staining here. And then the roof. It doesn't look too bad. Looks like the stove jacks right there. This is hopefully the color it'll come out when we're done. Let's look at the inside real quick. A couple things we're going to work on on the inside as well. You can see that there's a tear right there. We're going to work on patching that. Tear right there. We'll work on patching that one. You can see it's dirty on the inside just like the other one. Hole right there. Kind of filthy. And then there's a couple of holes here. We'll patch those up. So it takes mold, mildew, and stuff like that off. Directions mix one scoop of powder per quart of water. So there's about a gallon in there, so we're gonna put four scoops in that. Does not contain bleach or chlorine. Mix one scoop of potatoes out of warm water, allows best results. Stir thoroughly until the blue color disappears. Mix only what you're going to use. Wet surface down prior to, before application, sponge or brush into surface. All right. This is our tent washing machine. We're going to fill it up with water and put some detergent in there and put the tent in there. Then we'll drive it around so that we can get it clean. Let's go get that going. So my washing machine or meat trailer that I pull behind my Argo is actually a Bosky trailer, but I painted it green on the outside and then we used it. This is actually a bed liner like you'd line a, bed, a truck bed with that we sprayed into it and we chose this color so that it would reflect light really well so at night time you'd still be able to see in there and find your stuff. It's got a hole in the back here so you can drain it. It's got a little rack around the top of it so you can put gear on top of it. I got a little net on there like you know on the back of a pickup truck. And then it's got latches so you can latch it shut and a ram to push it open. It's a pretty handy little thing. Gas can carrier on the front here. Okay, so we've got water back up in here. We're going to shut the washing machine. And then we'll put it on agitation cycle here. So it's been soaking one day on one side and one day on the other side. The tent itself doesn't look bad. The water doesn't look horrible. So we're, there's six panels on this, the front, the back, the two sides, and basically the top, so there's five panels. We're doing each one independently. We've done the outside already, and now we're doing the inside.
So you can see, hopefully, some of the water is coming off of it's brown, so it's starting to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to hose this whole thing off now on the inside and the outside. And then we'll take the next step. So far you can see the front of it is a lot cleaner than it was. So, so what we've done so far is we've just washed it and scrubbed it a little bit with that detergent we showed you. You see it's not perfect. We'll call it slightly camouflaged. The smell is a lot nicer though. It kind of smells like a wet ash a little bit in here. You can hear the water running from the inside here. And you can see the amount of stuff that's on this tarp. This tarp was clean. The next step we're going to spray vinegar water on some of these stains and let it soak for about 15 minutes and then we're going to hose it down again. One of my concerns right now is you can see we're on the ridge pole. There's a little bit of slope in here. We're coming up shy there. You can see the bottom's coming up a little bit shy, and I think it's trying to shrink up. So we're going to have to keep this thing wet until we set it up and stretch it so that what, as it dries, it stays um, fitted to the tent frame, or we might end up with a tent frame that's too big for our tent. That would be a drag. All right. Okay, so we're going to do a vinegar solution in this that is three parts water and one part vinegar. And we're going to spray the stain spots and let that sit for 15 minutes. So we're going to patch a hole in the tent just as a check. We're going to patch this little tiny, you can see there's a little rep right there. We're going to patch it with this one here. We're going to use this product here called Terramender. That's what the tent people said. And what it says is, Spread a thin layer of Terramender onto the patch or the item being repaired. For thicker material, apply to both sides. Press the two surfaces together and allow to dry. Dries within three minutes. All right. see that the glue went all the way through the fabric there. Well, I guess it's stuck on there. I like how it kind of sealed. You can see it looks like it's sealed on there really good. So we're going to go ahead and do the rest of it. So far we've washed the tent with detergent. We've soaked it in vinegar to get it clean. We've checked to make sure that our patch worked and our patch did hold. We've cut out patches and we've put on pa a patch on every hole that we're going to do right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the patch and the tent. So we've pre-cut these patches. We'll put some glue on this patch. Smear it around. Put some glue around the hole. And I 
ideally I want glue to come out from underneath all of it like that. That's perfect. And I'm going to dab off the extra glue. Put a piece of plastic over it so that it doesn't stick to it. And put a weight on it. Okay, so we finished patching all the holes. We set it up to see how they turned out. You can see we had, you remember, we had a big rip here. We patched that one. That looks good. Hole there. There's one little hole left right there that I didn't get. I think I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the next process. And you can see the ones on the roof, the glue soaked through. Um, I think we got good adhesion. Everything looks really solid. This is Canvax. It's a canvas preservative and it basically says make sure everything is clean and brush or rub it on. It covers about 100 square feet of canvas per gallon. It should be applied at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't smoke while you're using it. And you can smell after you do it. It will gas off and and really stink for a while. So we're going to go ahead and put it in a roller thing, roller pan and apply it all over this tent. You have a grommet that we're going to replace in the corner of this tent. The way that this works is there's two pieces to the grommet. First piece goes up underneath there. And we have what they call the anvil. The anvil goes there. I put that on there. I'm going to try to get it so that all of that material is down that way. I put this on there. And we take this thing and then we just hammer it down. And if we're lucky, we'll see how it looks in a minute. See that it's starting to loop up there. It looks good, but we're going to give it a couple more taps here. All right, and there's a new grommet. Perfect. Okay, so we patched all the holes. We put Canvex on the entire thing. And so right now what we're doing is we've got gassing it off. The Canvex is still wet. And so what we're doing is we're letting it dry and kind of gas off. It has most certainly an odor about it. And so we've staked it off kind of minimally. We need to come in and get more stakes. Let's take a look at the inside. If you remember when we first started this whole project, how filthy the front of it was. Now you can see that it's really, it's pretty clean. It's not perfect. The inside of it now, you can see there's all of our holes that we patched. There were some tears on the bottom. There was a big tear right there. You can see the glue sticking out. And then there was a couple holes down over here that you can see the glue on. I got the vent in the back open to let some air in here. Um, this thing though, it's 
just about ready for adventure. To fold this tent, we're going to take the ridge line and we stretch it up to the left. We go down and we find the first eave and we drag that up to the ridge line. Then we look under the rest of the tent and we find the other eave and we're going to stretch that out and take that up to the ridge line as well. Now you've got the front and the back of the tent sticking out on each side as triangles. And we're going to fold those two in on top of the rest of the tent. And that'll make a nice rectangle. And we'll throw any ropes that are left here on top of that. And we're going to fold that rectangle into thirds. And so this first section here, we're going to take two thirds the way over, leaving one third that's not folded. We'll take that last third, and we'll flip it up on top of here. And we're going to fold it almost in half. And what's left sticking out there is what we're going to use to fold it with. Now we'll just fold it up. That's the easiest way to fold a wall tent.